Hello and welcome to the End of Planet Technical Series video on automated hierarchies. My name is Sahel Iyer and today we'll go over the steps for utilizing a automated hierarchy. An automated hierarchy can help your business expedite the process for maintaining list items in a hierarchy and 2D tables. It is common to hear about issues that revolve around size optimization, inaccurate reporting due to missing data, and hard to maintain hierarchies. One of the main causes of this is non-optimal monitoring of incoming transaction data and corresponding hierarchy adjustments. Unless properly monitored, it can be easy to miss previously unexisting hierarchy items coming with new transactions, not active SKUs, and poor data quality. This can often be seen in large finance and supply chain processes that involve integration between many tools and departments. As an overview of what we'll be going over, first we'll start with items that are loaded in with missing data, then loading in items that don't directly have a place within the hierarchy, and then the process of deleting old SKUs that are inactive for long periods of time. First to start off, we'll look at the flat file that we utilized. As you can see here, we have our transaction IDs, our product group, our family, our SKU, our date, and our units. The transaction ID has been created using a concatenate function that takes into account each of the items listed here. At the bottom, as you'll see, we have our items that we added in that aren't already created within our list. We have TV and table and the corresponding SKU, date, and units. If we move back into our Anaplan model, we can see how TV and table aren't already included in our list. Next, we'll load in the file. And run the process. As you can see here, our TV and table items including our corresponding SKUs and dates come in, in the new product hierarchy information part of the dashboard. This is because this TV and table hasn't been added to our hierarchy. We simply click update product hierarchy, which will then load in the group, the family, and the SKU in that order to allow for an organized fashion. No errors here. It'll disappear from the dashboard. And now as we look in our list, TV and table have been added in automatically through the process. In addition, if we look at our 2D table, at the bottom here, TV and table have been added in with the corresponding descriptions down to the unit level. Create a new list item, we'll call it chair, and leave the units blank. We'll save. Many times accidents like this can happen when loading in items, but they can go undetected when we load it into our Anaplan model. We'll reload the file and run the process. Now, as you can see here, the comfy chair that we added in comes in at the top of the dashboard under missing data, we simply fix the missing item and refresh. And now it disappears from here, but we still have our new items here under chair that we need to update in our product hierarchy. Run the process. And now we'll see comfy chair in our hierarchy. This can automate the process and expedite the process for loading in hierarchies and maintaining SKUs. Finally, Many times, SKUs can become outdated in our model when they are not used for long periods of time. In our application, we've done that if an item is older than 12 months, it'll show up within our dashboard. We'll see here how at the top we have our outdated SKUs. They're more than a year old in our current period. So now under app our application, they'll be showing up in our old product hierarchy information. We'll see here how we can simply delete the inactive SKUs D1001, D1002, refresh, and as we move into our hierarchy, 
we'll see under SKUs how D10001 and D10002 no longer exist. However, within our 2D table, the records for this item will still show up in case we need to come back to the SKU, but for now it's deleted within our product hierarchy. Lastly, we'll go over the process for when an existing hierarchy item has a data issue. So we'll move back into our flat file and we'll misspell laundry here, create a new family, a new SKU, corresponding date and units, but the product tube is spelled wrong. This can be a common issue when loading in large amounts of data. We'll select our file and run the process. As you can see here, our new items that weren't already existing for family and SKU show up, but our laundry product group is misspelled here because the system does not recognize it. We simply change it to the correct spelling. Then the system recognizes it, and now for our new family and SKUs, we update the product hierarchy. They'll disappear from this dashboard. And if we go into our list, we'll see under laundry, we'll see wash cycle. And under wash cycle, we'll see our correct SKU. And if we look at our 2D table at the bottom here, we'll see the item incorrectly spelled in our transaction ID, but we simply make the change. And now in the table and our transaction ID is correctly shown. This setup has many possible additions, including SKU specific time alert assignment and ability to manually select SKUs for deletion or specific groupings. My name is Sahal Iyer from TechLink International. Thank you for joining us for this video on automated SKU hierarchies. Please contact TechLink if you would like to learn more about the automated SKU process. Thank you and have a great day.